welcome back to these Midlands. <laughs> um, uh, how pleased are you to be in a Forest shirt looking, looking at another season in the always competitive challenge? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm looking forward to to the challenge ahead and, and for the season, you know, it'd be, be nice to, to get some regular game time and, you know, I want to come in. Obviously, I've got a lot of experience now and, you know, I've had two promotions with Fulham. So, you know, I feel like I've got that experience of, of getting out of the league and, and winning promotion. So, you know, I obviously want to come and do my best for, for the club and, and you know, they've, <coughs> they've obviously really gone for it this year and, and the ambition and, you know, it was unlucky that they fell out the last day on the, on the play uh, for the playoffs last year. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to come in and, and try and help the team in, in the best way I can, and and you know, hopefully, hopefully drive them on towards promotion. Was, was there much of a sales job needed to convince you to come in? Um, I mean, you know, I spoke to to the manager a couple of times, and you know, he he spoke fantastically, and you know, that kind of obviously really helped my my decision, and you know, it was a it was a case of staying at Fulham and, and trying to get regular game time, which probably wasn't going to happen when they brought in the in the two right backs, which you know was. Is, is what happens in football and so you know it was, it was a decision of whether I stick around and, and try and fight for that or you know just or come out and, and try and play regular game time game time which I, which is what I need really to be honest I you know I haven't really had that consistent run of games um, in the last season or two really and you know so for me it's a it's about playing that regular game time and you know it's always tough when when you're at a club and you you play one and then you're out for four and, and then you're back in again and you're never really match fit or getting getting that run and, and that opportunity. So, you know, there was maybe different opportunities that I, I could have took, um, not in England or abroad, but it was it was an opportunity that I probably could have turned it down once I'd spoke to the manager and, you know, it, it, it took some thinking to 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 decide on, on what I needed to do and, and what was the best what was the best fit for me. And, you know, I, I feel like the, the manager, you know, he, he said everything that I needed to hear and, you know, he comes across really well and it's it's a great squad and a great bunch of lads and but, you know, like I said, the ambition of the club is is, is fantastic. Uh, and that ambition, I suppose, has been not just your signing, but you're one of eleven. There's a, yeah. there's a team of you now. Uh, yeah. Scott McKenna signed. So does, does that make it easier, harder as a new player coming in? The, the, the fact there are so many different players that, that the manager the manager was talking about how he's got so little time to, to yeah. blend blend his squad and make it work. Yeah. No. Of course. I mean, it's it, it is obviously a tough job to maybe juggle around uh, so many players but you know it's it's good players that are coming in and I'm sure they'll they'll add and benefit to the squad and it's just a case that we need to hit the ground running and you know I, I looked at the game the other day I, I watched it I came to the stadium and watched it and you know there's always that little hangover that you might have from from obviously the upset in time that they had maybe towards the end of the last season and it's about just getting over that hurdle now and whether it's a scrappy goal or a scrappy one nil that you that you win you just you just need that and it will give you know i'm sure give the lads a lot more confidence but i'm sure the new boys coming in you know will hopefully lift the morale and, and, and boost the confidence of the, of the squad and you know we need to look forward to friday night and on getting a victory you, you mentioned the promotions so you know what it takes when you watch that match i know there's the hangover but in between all that could you see the signs of what might build a, a, a squad that could challenge yeah, a hundred percent. You know, there was obviously the first half obviously didn't go to plan, and and that's what Cardiff are about. You know, the their set pieces, and you know they've got a, they've got a great squad and a fantastic squad. But if if you look at the whole of the game in the in the second half, you know they, I thought Forest we were on top. So you know there, there's definitely signs that had created chances. You know, I think it was it was Grabs had a chance when it was one nil. You know, if, if he scores that, then it may be a different game. And and it's just the fine margins, obviously within within the championship. And like we said, you just need to to get the ball rolling and, and get that first victory or that first goal just to to give the lad the confidence. And you know, it's it's the signs are definitely there that there's a there's a squad on that can, is capable of pushing for promotion and. You know that's what we need to achieve, and everyone's got to be in it together. And you know it's a long season, so you, you have to be patient. You know, we've, we've even at Fulham, we were the first promotion was, you know, we were down in the table, and, and we ended up finishing third. So you know, it's that's what the championship is. It's a it's a roller coaster of a season, and you know the fans and and everyone needs to be patient. And you know, once the the wins come, start coming, and you know, hopefully they they they, they come in big groups, and and we can push on and and kick ourselves off the table. Uh, are you going to have to be patient, wait for your start, or do you think you're going to get out? Ah, <laughs> who knows? Um, I guess we'll see. It's up to the manager, you know. So, you know, it's, there's a, there's a lot of games to come. So it's, it's, you know, I'm sure I have to be patient. But you know, if if he does put me in on Friday night, then I'm I'm sure I'm ready. Um, 
And well, I, I'd be remiss of us not to ask, since we're back in the East Midlands yeah. for a spell at Derby, is, is, we we one of those players who really bought into the into the rivalry and enjoyed it. Does it feel slightly odd to be sitting in the Forest shirt? I mean, yeah, well, I mean, of course, you know, if you, you play for the for the other side and the rivals, and it's you know you you obviously do buy into them. I think you have to as a player, but you know, it's been three years, maybe longer since I I've, I've been there, and you know, it's football at the end of the day. You, <coughs> obviously, when I was at at Derby, my full loyalty was to Derby, but you know, like I said, I, I was there three years ago now, and you know, the, it was the club's decision to to let me go. It wasn't it wasn't my decision at that time as well. So, you know, I, I had fantastic times there and fantastic memories and, and met great people. But you know, my career is to is to play football and, and play as many games as possible and and achieve as as much as I can. So, you know, the opportunity came up and you know I had to make a decision, although it will be, be a tough decision considering my ties to Derby and, and how much I love my time there. But, you know, it was it was a tough decision I had to make and you're always going to get that in your career. And it's one that I can't I can't dwell on now and I have to look forward and, and you know, do my best for, uh, for Forrest. Uh, can I just ask finally, I think I'm probably going to ask all players I talk to this over the course of this next season, What's it like for you without the supporters in the stadium? Because we, we, keep, we keep sort of talking about what it's like for fans not being there. I guess individual players all react differently. So how, how, do you, yeah. how is it for you playing football without fans? No, I mean, it's, it is definitely different. You know, you probably get less abuse sometimes. But um, yeah, it's, you can have that pre-season kind of, kind of feel to it sometimes. And, you know, I think it, it's tough at the minute because it's just the first couple games. And I felt that obviously in the previous season, when we come back from lockdown, it was... The first couple of games, it, it took you a while to get going and, and did feel like pre-season, but once it really heated up, it it obviously got a lot better and, you know, you, you have to kind of, in that sense, create your own atmosphere and, you know, you don't have the, the crowd to you know, give you that extra little adrenaline boost if you if you get close or you score the goal and, and the fans are really behind you, obviously you, you miss that, so, you know, you have to, to stick together as a team and, and really drive each other on and, and you know, it's, it's that's vitally important that we, we have to stick together and, and not kind of get maybe sucked into the, the pre-season kind of feel and yeah like I said it is, it is tough and you don't get that extra light adrenaline like I said but you know I think everyone's coming to terms with it now and it's tough that you, you haven't got the fans there because that's what you, you want to do you want to perform for the fans and you know I'm, I'm sure hopefully they can they can come back in soon and you know if, if, if you can get this place a lot of fans it'll, it's, it's definitely a tough place to always come.